Welcome to our Ash Wednesday worship service. I'm glad you're here today. Whether it's morning time right now, in the afternoon or in the evening, whether you're joining us from home, from your desk at work or in between classes, I'm glad you're here today to observe the beginning of a new season, the season known as Lent. If this is the first time you are observing Ash Wednesday, you may be wondering how and when and why it all began. Ash Wednesday started sometime around the 6th century to mark the beginning of the season of Lent. Originally, the season was much shorter, just a few days long, but as time passed, the church extended this season to a period which is now observed as a 40-day season inspired by the time Jesus was out in the wilderness. In this season, believers would often set aside time to fast and to pray for self-examination and self-denial. The use of ashes were incorporated into worship as a sign of humility and mortality, as well as sorrow and repentance for sin. Before we continue, you may want to pause this video to prepare the ashes. If you received a packet from church, the instructions were included inside. If you didn't receive the ashes from the church but still want to make the mark of the cross, there are many alternatives at home that you can use. For example, if you have any candles at home, you could rub the wick between your fingers once the candle has been blown out. You could also grab a pinch of dirt from your garden or your backyard. Even the dust that has accumulated around the house, even that will be acceptable. Please take a moment to pause this video, go and prepare them, and when you, begin, when you come back, uh, start the video again. If you're ready, please join me for an opening prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, most gracious God, we gather together as a humble people wanting to grow closer to you. We gather for reflection, for self-examination, to confess, to surrender, and to embrace. We gather with the expectations that in our time together with you today, we might sense the Holy Spirit's leading to take a step today that draws us closer to you. Give us the grace to enter the space of these next 40 days with anticipation of our meeting. And when we open our souls to your presence, may your loving kindness flow over us and seep into the pockets of our heart. This we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please join me for our first opening hymn.
There are several themes that are connected to Ash Wednesday. The first that I'd like to share is the theme of humility. In this world, so many of us strive to be better than others, to be better, to be faster, to be stronger, or to be richer. Just a few weeks ago, we watched the Winter Olympics as athletes competed for medals where sometimes the difference between gold and silver or silver and bronze was measured in one one hundredths of seconds. To have the fastest time to skate better than anyone else, to win the gold by which all others are compared to, I can't imagine what that must be like. No one, however, remembers who came in last or who finished in the rear. I imagine for those athletes, coming home was a humbling experience. For Christians, our humility comes not from how poorly we performed, but rather our humble beginnings. In Genesis chapter 2 and the story of our creation, it says in verse 7, then the Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living thing. God created Adam not using the rarest of earth elements, not using precious metals or the finest gemstones, but rather God used dust. That's how we all began. God took a handful of dust, a scoop of dirt, if you will, formed it into a human being, breathed into its nostrils, and then Adam came to life. It doesn't matter if we are Ivy League educated or barely finished high school of noble birth or your average person, we all came from humble beginnings. We all came from dirt. See the ash in the cup that you have before you? That's where we all came from. Lent is a time to come down from our lofty pedestals to remember our humble beginnings and our humble origins. A second theme of Ash Wednesday is the theme of mortality. Not long after Adam and Eve were created, Genesis chapter 3 records the very first sin. Adam and Eve both ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, where, where God specifically told them not to do so. As a result, they were banished from the Garden of Eden, and God said to them these words, By the sweat of your brow you will eat your food until you return to the ground, since from it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. As a result of the original sin, the length of our days were numbered. Today we begin a 40-day Lenten journey. It is a journey that for Jesus took him back to Jerusalem, where he was falsely accused and arrested. Then he was nailed to a cross for sins he did not commit, giving up his life for us. That day was known as Good Friday, which is 40 days from now. And every day until then, we are reminded of the end of our own journeys. Perhaps some of you may have attended a, a funeral where at the graveside service, the pastor may have said something like, Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. One day, our journey will end on this earth with our own physical deaths. We are indeed dust and ashes, and one day we will return back to the earth from which we were formed. But because of what Jesus has done for us, and because of who Jesus is, while our physical journey comes to an end, we believe that our spiritual journey will continue with him through eternity. This brings us to our third theme today, and that is the theme of repentance. The Apostle Paul said in his letter to the Romans, in chapter 3, verse 23, 
For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. At a much earlier time and to a different group of people, the prophet Isaiah said something similar. We all like sheep have gone astray. Each one of us has turned to our own way and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. If we were to be honest, none of us were called because we are deserving but rather we were called into God's family because we were all given second chances. In the early church, the season of Lent was a time for those who had fallen away from God to renew their faith, to renew their vows, and to be reconciled back into the church. It was a time to let all who had lapsed in their faith to come humbly before their God and be restored into full fellowship and communion in the life of the church. And so on this Ash Wednesday, as we begin this journey through Lent, I invite you to come before the Lord with humility and with penitent hearts. In your worship bulletins, there is a prayer of confession in the form of a call and response if you have a printed copy, you may take it out at this time, or you could follow along on your screen. In between each confession, you may want to pause this video to give yourself time for personal reflection. Let us come together in our prayers of confession. Lord, we confess our sins before you. We confess that we have fallen short of your glory and intent for our lives. And together, let us confess. Open our eyes that we may see ourselves with clarity and truthfulness, that we may have eyes to see all that within us is not pleasing to you. Please take a moment for a silent reflection. Let us continue. Lord, we confess to you that we have not loved as we ought. We have been impatient with others with whom we could have been patient. And together, let us confess. We have disregarded those you have called us to serve. We have chosen a selfish way when you have called us to selflessness. Please take a moment of silence to remember those we have forgotten or neglected. Let us continue. Lord, we confess that we have not tended to the care of our souls. We have been too busy to pray. And together, let us confess. We have been too quick to speak and too slow to listen to you. We have filled our lives with all kinds of noise instead of patiently waiting like sheep for our shepherd's voice. Please take a moment of silence to renew our spiritual ears and to listen for the spirit's voice. Let us continue our confession. Lord, we confess our need of you. We need your grace. We need your patience. We need your guidance. We cannot see beyond the moment. We cannot worship as we ought. And together, let us confess. As we begin this solemn journey towards the cross, we call upon your mercy and your love for our salvation. Hear the promises of God. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you will be clean from all your uncleanness and from your idols I will cleanse you. A new heart I will give you and a new spirit I will put within you and I will remove from your body this, the heart of stone and will give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and make you follow my statutes and be careful to observe my ordinances. Friends, 
The promises of God are true. And all the people said, In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Amen. I invite you now to embrace Jesus Christ and receive the mark of the cross upon you. If you haven't done so already, please take a moment to prepare the ashes. The ashes can be used both dry or wet. If you want to use them dry, open the container and with the Q-tip provided, dab some of the ash onto the end of the Q-tip and on your forehead or on the back of your hand, make the sign of the cross. If you want to use the ashes wet, add one or two drops of olive oil and using the Q-tip provided, mix the ashes with the oil and then using that Q-tip, make the sign of the cross either on your forehead or on the back of your hand. If you don't have ashes with you today, that's okay. You can still just use your finger and on your forehead, you can make the sign of the cross or on the back of your hand as well. And symbolically, let the cross represent our identifying with the Lord. This is our way of saying, yes, I know Jesus Christ. Yes, I am a follower of his. Yes, he is my Lord and Savior. Let's take a moment to make the sign of the cross on ourselves and those who are with us. As you have received and made the sign of the cross, please join me in a word of prayer. Let us pray. Gracious God, you created us out of the dust of the earth and breathed into us the breath of life. By your hand we live, and by your hands we will return when all our days are done. Grant that the awareness of our mortality may lead us not into fear, but to faith. In our weakness, teach us to look to you for strength. In our failures, to turn to you and find forgiveness. And in our dying, to wait for the gift of everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me with our, our closing hymn.
Let us pray together. Almighty God, you have created us out of the dust of the earth. Grant that these ashes may be to us a sign of our mortality and penitence, that we may remember that it is only by your gracious gift that we are given everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of our Heavenly Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit go with you into this Lenten journey. And all God's people said, Amen. Thank you for joining us today for our Ash Wednesday worship service. Blessings to all of you as you go into this season of Lent.